Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, the pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi. And I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning, I want to turn your attention to the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 22. Today, I want to talk to you about eyes and the importance of eyes. Our eyes are so critical in our walk with Christ and the way we live in this world. Our eyes are a part of the body. Some people have not been blessed with the ability to see things that we see. Some people are nearsighted, some are farsighted, and unfortunately some have been born without sight and some have lost their sight uh, throughout life because of health issues and other reasons. But the eyes are important. The old saying is, the eye is a window to the soul, and that is true. What we see with our eyes becomes embedded and implanted and burned into our minds. If we see the right things, if we look at the right things, then those things will be burned into our minds. But if we look at the wrong things, whether it is on TV, whether it is on the internet, or whether it is in person, if we choose to behold the wrong things with our eyes, our minds will succumb to that. So what the mind, uh, the eyes behold, the mind will therefore become. As we grow older, our eyesight naturally diminishes. It is a process that takes place over time. We lose our contrast. We lose our sharpness. We become nearsighted. We become farsighted. These things have an effect on us. The world will also have an effect on our eyesight as it embeds itself into our lives and we're so inundated with it. We need to be careful what images we put in our minds. As I think about images, I can close my eyes and think about them and because they're in my mind, I can actually see the images that I have implanted in my minds with closed eyes. So the images that you place in your mind are very important. They will ultimately lead to actions. But he says this as he wrote in verse 22, the light of the body is the eye. So the eye is what brings light in. The reference here is not just a physical light, but the spiritual light of Christ. And he follows that up in verse 22 by saying, If therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. In other words, if you focus on the right thing, if you're seeing the spiritual things, those are the things, if you're feeding yourself on them, if you're looking on them, those are the things that will fill your soul and they will guide your life. Don't allow society to determine what your eyes behold. You determine what your eyes behold because your determination of what they do or do not see will determine the person that you ultimately will become. I want to tell you today that your eyes are important. You should take care of them physically, but you should also take care of them spiritually. Remember this, the light of the body is the eye, and whatever we put into our minds, it is embedded in there to stay, and it will be in our minds to be recalled at some point or some time. I challenge you today, friends, look on the right things and avoid the wrong things. The things that seem to creep in over the internet in the privacy of our own home, avoid them at all costs. Avoid the movies that display things that we shouldn't be watching. Avoid these things that will harm your spiritual walk with Christ. It is so important to walk in the right way and in the right manner. Cherish your eyes. Behind me in this video, you'll notice the beautiful trees that are back there. Put an image in your mind and know that God created that image, that God created it, and he gave it to you to implant in your heart so that when you call it back to mind, it will be an image that will bring serenity and peace and, rem and reminiscence of God in your mind and in your heart. Please know this today, my friends, that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you, and I love you too. Please pray with me. Father, help us to guard our eyes today that they do not behold the wrong images, but only the correct images. Remind us that your grace is sufficient and your love is ever enduring. In Jesus' name, amen. Until we meet again, my friends, God bless.